Since we're on a topic of snakes, let me show you this one. Go ahead, hiss for everybody. Look at what he's doing with his neck. No, this is not a cobra. This is an eastern hognose snake. And he's huffing and he's puffing and he's trying to be really, really scary. These are harmless snakes. Um, one of their main diets is actually frogs, uh, toads especially. And uh, most animals can't eat toads. You eat a toad, uh, they're poisonous. It can make you really sick and uh, it can kill you. But this guy's got a way to getting around it. They actually have um, uh, the saliva in their mouth actually helps them break down the toad. What? What? I know plenty of people that have hacked these animals up thinking that they were actually something really dangerous. He's not dangerous. Um, which are beautiful. And he's hissing and he's trying to be all scary. And I know, I know, you are not in a good mood. If you mess with them enough, he'll actually roll over and play dead. They put on such a great act. I mean, it's amazing to watch this snake. You know, you tease him, flops over, rolls over in his back, opens up his mouth, sticks out his tongue, lets out a really bad smell. If they should, any snake should get into Captain War for playing dead, this should be the guy. Because you're good at it, aren't you? I know, I understand. You want to go back in your cage. But this is actually the black face of an eastern hognose snake. Look at that. Look at you. I know. Got the name the hognose because of the hog shaped nose he has up there. But this snake is just amazing. I don't recommend these guys for pets because the problem you have with hog noses is that you know their bodies and uh, everything is built pretty much for for amphibians, of course toads and frogs. Um, so they're really hard to keep in the winter time because you have to be able to feed them toads, and it's kind of hard to find toads and frogs in the winter, right? Right? It's hard. I know it is. And mice really aren't really particularly good for this snake because their digestive system is not really made for mice. So I know, I know, I know. Oh, I know, but God, you are beautiful. Yes, you are. And so what I'm going to do is end up letting this guy go. How I actually got this snake, um, some lovely people called me up and he got stuck in some netting and it was wrapped all around his body. So I literally had to cut it off him. And uh, like the glue traps, um, this guy got, he got majorly stuck and he would have died. In fact, he was hanging there and it was almost wrapped around his neck, almost looked like he was, you know, choking. But I got you, didn't I? You didn't like it. I'll be letting this guy go and maybe when I go to let him go, you guys will be able to see how he puts on his performance. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put him up. He's getting pretty upset. I'm going to let you go. Okay? I know, baby. I know. How can you not love this snake?